All right, this is gonna be a less cheerful video this week because I am stuck. So a few days ago, uh, I've been working on sync. That's what I'm working on now, like further in sync, syncing the mobile app to the server so it can sync with your desktop clients and all that. And I thought it was gonna be extremely straightforward because I already have all the sync logic in place in the desktop app and I thought it was gonna be basically just copy and paste. But it turns out it's not. So most of it was, but what I had to change was stuff that handled state mostly. And uh, so if, to start with a couple of days ago, I would open up the app and it would just go crazy. It would sync nonstop. So I didn't really understand what was going on, but it turns out it was actually a really stupid thing that I was doing on my part. I was basically just calling that at the beginning of the whole app component which means it was rerunning every time anything reloaded, which is constantly. So that was just a stupid mistake on my part, easily fixed, not a big deal. But the issue now is that, uh, well, let me just show you. So basically I have down here syncing whenever the thing is syncing. And if we look in here, I have the sync after change function and this I call anytime I change something like editing a task or something like that and I want it to run the whole sync. So what it should do is just spawn an async block that has a sleep for one second and then syncs. And as you can see, I put some print lines for debugging in here, sync after change and in async. Well, this in async is never showing up. So if we go over here to the actual view file, this is a button that uh, saves a task edit. So anytime I edit a task, this runs and basically just checks that everything's good, updates the database, and then updates the history, and then syncs right here, and then closes the sheet. So it turns out the problem area is closing the sheet. So I'll show you in the app. So let's say I take this tester six and I change it to tester seven and I save. Well, that works okay here, but if we go down here, we got to the sync after change. And if you remember in the function, it should go then to in async, but it never does. Well, it turns out that is because of this uh, state change here. So, this task edit sheet, let me show you. So if I go up to the top here, if this task edit sheet is sum, it's gonna show the edit sheet. Otherwise it's closing it and it's not showing at all. Well, I'm changing it to none, so it's no longer gonna show it. But apparently that means that even this async spawn that I started isn't gonna run. And I thought that it would. So if I get rid of the stuff that closes the sheet, everything actually runs perfectly fine. So I need to find a way to spawn that task and make it continue running while also closing the sheet. And the reason I actually really want to close the sheet and not only the sheet, but actually get rid of that whole task edit area is because the next time it loads, I don't want it to load all the same data. I want it to load new data. And the issue I was having before I made it completely close was that it would just come back up with the same data as before. So I need to get a way to make this async run continue to run even after that whole thing closes. And I was trying to do a Tokyo and an async move block in the actual button on click and it just spit out an error then. So I don't know how to do this, unfortunately. I'm going to keep looking at the docs. I also wrote down some ideas I had yesterday when I was just like thinking about it. I just had to stop and like watch something because I just couldn't think about it anymore. I was thinking about it for like, th I was like working on it actively for like three hours and I just could not come up with a solution. So I wrote down a couple other things that I'm going to try, but uh, I think I need to just reread, like, like read word for word the Dioxys docs, which obviously I have been reading the docs and been trying stuff, but there's something I don't understand. Or it's just not possible. I feel like that's not the case, but it could be. 
And the worst, worst case scenario in this situation is that I just let the thing continue syncing every 15 minutes instead of syncing every time I make a change or when the user manually syncs, but I would really like to avoid that. It'd just be way nicer for the user experience to sync every time a change is made. So I need you. If you have any ideas, if you know how to do this in Rust or just Dioxys or whatever, or another language that maybe I can work off of, please let me know in the comments. I really could use some help on this. And I will let you know in the next update if I actually got through it. Let's, fingers crossed, we'll see.